Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Tuesday Preppers where we talk about uh, upcoming news in the game and what kinds of uh, items and abilities and trials you might be able to go after now to get ready for this week's events. And so uh, we do have a couple pieces of content coming out this week. We'll go ahead and talk about those as well as something that I'm going to go on a little bit of a mini rant about. Um, I'm guessing you might have a clue of what that might be. Um, but let's talk about the events and stuff first. Uh, the first is a King Mog event for Final Fantasy X-2, uh, the Go-Go Gullwings event. Um, so it's a King Mog. The final boss in <laughs> this fight uh, is a uh, sandworm. It's an insect. It has minus 50 resistance to water, lightning, and dark. You can use all the breaks you want on it, and it has no innate resistances. Um, and you also have challenges to use no items, no KOs, and use a limit burst some point during the level um, to get all the rewards. Now, I think that it's a you know it's a king mog, so it's not usually too hard. But we are going to talk about getting some insect killer um, today using um, most of the EX squad and some uh, old members of the EX squad from last period. Um, they're going to help us out. Um, but otherwise, we're going to be getting some tickets here. Um, along the way and then crafting some gear um, some other things that are really neat about this event um, the gun is pretty bad it's a one-handed gun the earrings are like eh, okay whatever the sword is like uh, really bad um, but then these two um, or these three the tetra band so resistances on an accessory it's, it's kind of low but it's there but these two the um, the dragonfly orb and the heady perfume nullify stop nullify charm and some attack um this is great don't want to miss out on nullify stop is one of those ones where people are always like where do i get more stop immunity you get it right here where do i get more charm immunity you get it right here so these two are very nice um and worth picking up so don't skip this okay king mog bring all your good king mog units such as the new ones or new titus new lulu jacked new kimari waka seymour unileska Poppy, Waka Seymour, Unileska, more Final Fantasy 10, 10 2 units, lots of options, right? Okay, um, and they look like this, and they're yeah, whatever. This sprite is, I think, my favorite of the th favorite of the three, but you know, whatever. Um, and then you also have this fight, which is a little more interesting: the arid assault against a machine enemy, um, Angra Manu. It's a machine enemy. It's a minus 50 water, lightning, and dark again, which goes along with the Final Fantasy X-2 theme. Um, it does have 120 resistance to everything else. Um, you can use all the breaks you want, and you want to uh, make sure you have no deaths. Do it in five turns or less and have a party of four or less. And doing that's gonna get you a five star slash Neo Visions EX ticket, 3000 Lapis, a Master's Crown, and 20 Songstress Yuna Fragments just for beating the fight. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna try and do this on Thursday. Um, you don't have to like bring just Final Fantasy X units. You can bring whatever you want. Um, we're gonna try and do this without just blowing it up on turn one with Esther because we, we know what's gonna happen, right? Esther, Kaito, Chizuru, goodbye machine enemy and whatever we're not going to do that we're going to try and do something a little more interesting on on stream on thursday so but definitely come out and watch that on thursday um that'll be well it'll be a fun time um there's also a character battle which is um basically just like do it once a day and you get some fragments for the new units awesome if you're planning on pulling the new units enjoy um if you're not planning on doing it still do it anyway just so you get fragments for them so you can upgrade them later if you happen to grab one live your best life Okay, uh, before I get into killers and stuff, I do want to touch base on the thing that I said I was going to talk about, and that is um, the fact that we are getting this Noppy um, Intrinsic Ability Summon. Um, it might be kind of hard to see on the screen. Um, it's a three-step up process. You get Noppy on step one guaranteed, um, as well as a 10 plus one summon uh, for 5,000 uh, Lapis, which is... You know, 5,000 Lapis for a guaranteed Neo, then you know what it's going to be is like not the end of the world, but still, it's an old unit. But the thing that you really want if you're doing this is at the very, very end. Um, Noppy's not be, not potential is 5,000 HP, 3,000 attack, and chain cap up, as well as um, potentially modifier boost and stuff, which is what they advertise is going to be. Um, we don't know what the modifier boost is going to be at this point, um, but from what I understand from doing people doing some math, um, it's going to take a lot to make this worth 12,000 Lapis. Um, and frankly, here's here's where I have issue with it. 
we just came off of a Clash of Wills banner with a very strong unit that lots of people pulled for, and it seemed like lots of people had a hard time pulling, so they probably spent a lot of their Lapis. Um, and we are then going into this, and this banner only lasts for one week, so you've got one week to decide if you're going to do this. Um, and we're this banner is existing before we're getting the payout from our Vision World World Divisions event. So if you got rank one in that, you don't have your 10k Lapis to use on this. Um, most of you, if you are not a you know a player who buys Lapis or bundles, is probably um, a little low on Lapis right now. Okay, so if you're going to try and buy this, um, you're going to need to buy some Lapis if you want this right now. Um, and just for some perspective, I don't think this is necessarily the way to do this. You know, there are obviously ways to do it, but you can go into Lapis Shop and you could buy, um, you know, 12,000 Lapis, which is what this costs for $100 US. Um, or you could buy like the $50 one, which is going to get you to 8500 8, And then you can buy like a couple other ones to kind of supplement that. You just got to get to 12,000. Um, but that, you know, we're, you're already spending more than $50 if you go that route. Okay. So that's expensive. Uh, or you could go into the shop and look at the various bundles and stuff. Um, you know, like the September Crest bundle is $2,000 for $12. Um, the, uh, the Faithful Fox Spirits is $20,000 for $100. So obviously these bundles are better at getting you what you want. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, like, do I want to spend, you know, $60 plus dollars on an ability? Not even, I mean, yeah, I'm getting a unit, but like on an ability, I don't know. I, I personally don't plan on buying Lapis just to buy this ability. Um, and, and I think uh, there's a couple of reasons why. One is that if, if it then showed up in the gill shop, like, shoot, five months from now, if it shows up in the gill shop, I would be really irritated with myself that I bought Lapis to buy it right now. Um, that's just me personally. You have to you know choose how you want to play the game, but like I wouldn't want to do it knowing that it could eventually come in the, the, to the gill shop where I can use my free currency that I'm constantly overloaded on and have nothing better to do with it to buy and craft this ability. Yes, with Master Crowns, but I have a ton of those too. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, for a unit that I don't use, um, and the ability would have to be super, super good to make it worth my while. Um, and it's still 12,000 Lapis that I don't have. And, right, we know Halloween's coming. Um, we know October's always a big, big month in the game. Um, you know, uh, and then after that, it's November, um, where there's been a lot of talk about like whether or not Nier is going to be coming. Um, if it does, uh, you don't want to be short of Lapis for that. And then winter's coming, and Christmas always has a really big, you know, nice set of bundles and, um, you know, probably a Clash of Wills unit or maybe upgrades for some existing Clash of Wills units. And then January is going to come, so New Year's, and then. February is going to come. We're back into Lunar New Year, and then we're we're you know we're in like a five month stretch. You know, between now and February, of just like banner, 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 banner. Not to mention all the normal stuff. It feels like yeah, every month we get a Clash of Wills unit. Um, the next few months are going to be really rough if you're a free player. And like I feel like slapping this in here for twelve thousand lapis to get one ability. Uh, I just feel like it's not not good. Um, I, I I don't recommend it. Um, right now, I don't recommend it because I don't know what the numbers are on it, but I, 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 I can't imagine a, a number that would be high enough to make me say, gosh, I want to go spend $60 on, on buying Lapis Bundles to buy this unit or the, this ability. I, I, I can't imagine a number that's going to make me personally want to do it. Um, I'm just not that competitive and frankly, I'm rank one in Clash of Wills without Noppy, so it's all good. I'll be fine. Um, personally. But like I said, even more than that, I would be really irritated if it came into the gill shop later and uh, and then I had spent all that money to get it. So yeah, that's I, I just can't I can't bring myself to do that. I can't I can't imagine that. So there you are. There's my my opinion piece on that. Uh, do with that what you will. Um, there's also some other stuff going on as well. Uh, the story is going to continue. So yeah, we're going to get some lapis, but not enough to get you that 12k bundle. Um, and we're going to get. Um, uh, massive UI update, which is really, really awesome. Uh, Chamber of Arms is coming back. So go get you some of those rewards if you've never gotten them before. You know, new gear for Tulian, which is super exciting now that we have, um, now that we have, uh, 
Tsukiko that's you know going to work really well with that. Tulian's going to be very, very strong, even at EX0 with this ability. Um, so cool stuff. I'm excited about that because some people actually like Tulian, even though it's a little strange. Um, yeah, cool. Very cool. Uh, Melia is getting an intrinsic too. I really like Melia on principle, but uh, this this just seems really sad. You know, this this again will also have to be very very good for me to invest crafting with master crowns. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the numbers are on Thursday. But um, this batch does not look too good to me personally. Um, and there we have it. So let's talk killers for just a second. Um, we know machines are coming. Uh, with the EX fight, so we could go after Doolahan Advance, which we've done a million times uh, on this series um, in a lot of different ways, but there's also lots of good TMRs and STMRs. Tyvus Raging Tempest and Mechanic for the Royal Family from Cindy are really, really good. Valued Memories from Irvin, Last Guardian from Noel, um, Skeggyold from Tulian. Hey, Tulian's getting a lot of love this week, so there you go. Um, but we're actually not going after uh, Doolahan again this week. We're going to go after something else. Um, we're going to go after the um, Insect Buster from Scorn of the Demon Chimera. Um, we could also grab Insect Eater Sense from the Death Machine if you're just feeling really spicy and want to go after that. Or Bug Killer Plus from Scorn of the Marching Beasts. I kind of felt like doing Insect Buster because it's been a while since I've done that one. Um, but you could also get Scanning Goggles from Eileen, Purple and Black Battle Attire from NB Lastwell, um, Bug Killer from Gloomwing. Lots of lots of good stuff. Bug Killer Plus from Glo Gloomwing. Gloomwing is not that difficult. Um, so you could definitely go out and grab those too if you wanted to. But like I said, we're going to do um, Insect Buster from Scorn the Demon Chimera. Did this over on stream tonight um, using the new EX squad um, with a couple of additions to the squad from last season. Because, yeah, the current season is uh, kind of toilet. I'm a little spicy tonight, huh? Okay, so Scorn of the Demon Chimera... Gosh, okay. Extreme difficulty. Complete the quest to get Insect Buster at 75% physical damage to insects. Very nice. Um, even if you're a mage, lots of our physical, lots of our mages are physical mages anyway, like Olive and Roberta, Angela, you know, what have you. Um, the good ones are physical damage dealers because mages, you know, just constantly get shafted on. Um, but if you do no items, you get a Trust Moogle, 10%. Evoke an Esper to get a uh, five-star select summon ticket. We're going to do that and defeat it within 15 turns. We're going to do that for five Super Trust Moogle exchange tickets. Very cool. Uh, tells us here he's a beast demon weak to ice and lightning, and you are wanting to use magic because, yeah, he boosts his defense constantly. He also will um, uh, cure himself if he's not afflicted with disease. Um, sometimes even if he is afflicted with disease, he cures himself. So you definitely want to make sure you're bringing disease. Um, it's also helpful to have Reflect to bounce it off of you and put it on him so that the Reflect bounces off him and heals you, um, keeping him from healing himself. So pretty cool. Lots of ways we can do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab a friend here. Sorry. We're going to grab a friend here. Um, and the friend we're looking for is a Terra. And here we go. We've got a Neo Visions Terra. Um, so we are set. Doesn't matter what their gear or anything is. We're just grabbing a Neo Visions Terra. Make sure somebody on your party has Shiva, um, and she will allow us to evoke Shiva um, right away and get a, a challenge out of the way, as well as remove the um, elemental imperil field that the boss puts up. Um, so that's very, very important. Otherwise, he will beat you into the ground mercilessly with his magic attacks. Uh, but here's our team, and um, I'm going to tell you pretty much um, the gear on these two does not really matter. Um, whatever you want to put on them. So, you know, they're geared for um, doing magic and chaining and whatever. A little bit of beast and demon killer. Doesn't really matter that much. Ignis is the same way. Just he, He's carrying a disease weapon to give disease to the boss. So that's useful. Otherwise, just kind of geared with ra whatever random stuff I had laying around. Um, there you go. Charlotte is geared for... Uh, very high water and wind resistance. They really only need 300. Um, I kind of went overboard. They only need 300. Um, and yeah. High spirit. Lots of resistances. Um, wearing this vision card just because I had it. Uh, but we're not bringing her. So there you go. Um, and then um, these two are kind of important. So Shadow is wearing Carbuncle and has a dual cast. 
so that he can double cast reflect otherwise lots of mp restore because he's me spamming abilities for a couple of turns um, he's also passive provoke evading you can build that however you want medina um, does not have to be geared this well um, this is not as important as having high mp is um, but we've got it so i'm using it I, I can't help that i got a serpent dark fina you know we're using her um, but otherwise lots of mp um, and some demon and beast killer um, high mp high mp it is what it is um, and there's our team um, so yeah let's get into it and i'll go ahead and pop up um, ability vision so you can see what we're doing here He starts by putting up the elemental resistance uh, field um, that would really wreck your party if you do not get rid of it. And so to help us get rid of that right away, Terra is going to summon um, Shiva. That's going to boost ice damage for us. The boss does not do any ice damage, so it does not matter. Um, but this way we can not be imperiled. Because if you look right now, um, Charlotte is at 110 water and 55 wind. All right now, Charlotte's at 410 and 355 wins. So we're going to be good on the, the elemental magic front. We're good. First turn is physical, so shadow is going to triple and just use double uh, concealing shadow for mirage stacks and then reduce the accuracy of the boss. There we go. Lightning in the shift form is going to triple. She's going to energize Buster Impulse and Buster Thunder. Ignis is going to chain with her um, and do reinforcement, brew over boost for himself, and spell daggers ice. And we're just going to chain to do a little bit of damage. Um, Charlotte is going to um, just get herself ready with Light of Grand Shelt and Knight of Knights to unlock her double cast. Gosh, imagine having to unlock double cast for yourself. Those were the days. Um, and then Dina is going to, uh, this is the order of this is very important. Um, she's going to do freeze for a nice ice imperil, um, lunatics metal, luna accretion, and ice catastrophe in that order um, to make sure she's boosted for her, her burst turn on the next turn. So there we go. And then we're chaining. Okay. And the boss is going to hit uh, some AoE physical attacks and some single target physical attacks. He's going to boost his defense. Um, yeah, we're fine. We're dodging stuff. Dark tackle reduces your dark resistance, but it doesn't matter because it's physical attack. You can just evade it. All right. Um, so notice he is still diseased. You can see he's kind of purple still. So we're in good shape there. Um, Ignis is just going to triple spell daggers here. Lightning is going to tetra forecast a triple spell daggers. Oh, sorry. Triple buster thunder. And then one thunder barrier just to help with like mitigations and stuff like that. Um, our Terra friend is just going to jump in there with some good old fashioned CWA chaining. And Medina is going to cap all that with an ice onslaught. Um, when I did this on stream, we were landing around like 35, 37% damage uh, left on the boss. So we're going to do a significant chunk here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So here we go. We're going to start with Medina and then send everybody else. Medina, we're going to wait. We're going to wait and send everybody. Holy wow. That did not happen on stream. I don't know what that was, uh, but we timed that well or something. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, just in case the boss is going to heal himself, we're going to go ahead with Shadow and we're going to double cast Reflect. Oh boy, was not expecting that. Reflect on himself, reflect on himself, hits the boss. That way, if he tries to heal himself, it will not heal him. And hope I, I was hoping to have Charlotte's Limit Burst here. We don't have it, so we're just going to um, Knight's Command to give magic mitigation. Um, and then healing glory to fill some MP because you can see that Medina has none. Wow. Survival instinct kicking into low HP, but is weakened because he has disease, so he cannot heal himself. 
That's what's supposed to happen. Sometimes I see him heal himself anyway. He hits us with some magic. She resists it and then uh, soaks up the non-elemental stuff as much as she can. She's going to counter for like 15 minutes here. And there we go. So we're going to hit reload. Um, and then we're going to use her SLB, um, which is going to probably just wipe out this boss. So uh, let me just go ahead and um, do that. We'll just do that and chain. Yeah. So three turns. Three turns and uh, took us four turns on stream. So I don't know what that was. I didn't really change all that much. Um, kind of cool. And we did a lot of damage. Medina, taking out this fight. Pretty impressive. Imagine what you could have done if you like, somehow geared her with more MP. Um, but she's taking care of us right here. Very, very nice. Um, thank you so much. I don't know who you are, uh, BMX, but thank you for setting your friend as a Terra because nobody does. Um, but that was very helpful to this particular fight. Um, there you go. Um, go out and get you some bug killer. That way you can do the King Mog on Thursday and get you some machine killer if you really want to, to go nuts um, for the machine killer fight. Or you can just bring like Esther and Kaito and move on with your day. Um, and then keep working on Clash of Wills if you haven't finished that up and farmed up all your the rewards you want. Um, in the meantime, that's all I got. Um, what are your opinions on the Noppy situation? I really want to know. Um, I... I don't know. I, until I see the numbers, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I am 100% sure. Well, well, let me rephrase that. I'm not 100% sure whether or not it's good or bad until I see the numbers. I am 100% sure I'm not going to go spend $60 to buy it, personally. That's just me. Um, but, you know, what, what's your opinion? I'm happy to hear about it. I want to know about it. Um, yeah, do your thing. But we'll see you on Thursday over on Twitch for new content night. We're going to do the new content. There's not a whole lot of it, but we'll do it. <laughs> and then we'll hang out and do some other stuff and chit chat and visit. I love visiting with all you guys and chatting. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.